Hi friends, it's good to see you again today. We are so happy that you are back here with us for another Sunday lesson. I sure miss you guys. I'm looking forward to getting to see your, some of your beautiful faces this Sunday, hopefully here at church. But we have some stories for you and some fun. Oh, you do? Okay, well, evidently Travis has something he he really, really, really wants to show us very quickly. He does not want to wait. Well, where is it? Oh, okay. It's not in his heart today. It's in his heart bucket because it's that big, huh? Okay, let me grab his heart bucket. It's down here. Oh, can you guys see his heart bucket? Can you guys see that? Sometimes when Travis has something in his heart that's a little too big and he wants to share it, he, that's right, you stick it in your heart bucket. And that way we can share it from your heart bucket because it may be too big to just tuck inside your heart like that. So let's look and see what's in there that he's so excited to share. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. Travis has a basket in his heart. Can you guys see his basket? Open it. You want me to open it? Okay, let's open up that. Let's open up the lid. That's a beautiful lid. Travis. There, yeah. It's empty. There's nothing in his basket. So why are you, why do you have an empty basket in your heart, Travis? Oh, he's waiting for somebody to put something in it. Okay. Fair enough. That's pretty cool. Do you know what you want in it? No? Don't know? Just something, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, that reminds me of today's story. It, yeah, your empty basket reminds me of today's story. You want somebody to put a present in there. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll have to see about that. He's got an empty basket and he wants somebody to put a present in there. Hmm. We'll see what we kind of get in that basket. Maybe we can think of something. Does that sound good? Okay. But it does remind me of today's story, friends. It's um, from the book of Isaiah. And it's about a man. His name was Isaiah. And he told about a coming present. Oh, I know. Just like your, yeah, something that was coming. Are you excited? Oh, he's excited to find out. So, friends, Isaiah prophesied that means told what was going to happen in the future he prayed and he listened to God and God told him something and so he he spoke God's words and it was called a prophecy he told what was going to happen in the future what God said was going to happen what God declared over people and friends in the Bible in Isaiah he talked about a coming baby I know and back in the days in the Bible days, um, when Isaiah, this happened in the Old Testament, so it was a long, long, long time that he told the story before it actually came to pass. So let me grab my book, and then we'll look at the page, and we'll talk a little bit about this story that Isaiah prophesied about. Let me grab this. Let's see. Oop, you gonna help me, Travis? You're gonna help me. Can you guys, he's kind of behind. <laughs> he's like, wait, I can't see. Can you see now? Okay. It says, long ago, a man named Isaiah told people that Jesus would come and help them. Isaiah knew that Jesus was God's son. <gasps> yeah, is that good? Can you guys see that? That's what Isaiah the prophet prophesied. And so, friends, he prophesied about Jesus, the birth of Jesus, and Jesus was going to be born as a baby. There's more to that where they talk about how Jesus is born of a virgin and comes as a baby. So, uh, people from that time on, they started waiting. They were waiting for the gift that God had promised them. And kind of a lot, maybe like your empty basket, yeah? They were like, wait, God, you promised us something. Are you going to fill up our gift, gift, put the gift in there? And they were waiting on the birth of baby Jesus. 
So that's where we're going to start because your tie is crooked. There we go. You're welcome. He, he does not like his tie crooked, no. So we're going to start talking about the birth of baby Jesus because it is coming the day that we celebrate Jesus' birthday. That's right, it's Christmas. Christmas is coming. And so we're going to kind of talk about all the fun events, amazing events that led up to his birth. And the first thing is to remember that he was, it was prophesied long, long, long before he was born. God told his people, he's coming. Your Savior is coming. And so they were waiting. They were waiting for the gift of Jesus. Just like Travis, just like your empty basket, waiting on a gift. They were waiting for the birth of Jesus. So we'll have to find out a little bit more about what happens next, next week. But I also want to remind everybody, we've got a very special holiday coming up. Yes, we have two. You're right. We have two special holidays coming up. The first one this Wednesday is Veterans Day. And it's a good day to remember to say thank you to veterans who, yes, veterans who served our country. That Travis is right. A veteran is somebody in the uh, Army, Navy, Air Force. Coast Guard, Marines, and they served in our country. And it's a day to remember to say thank you for all that they've given us and what they've done for us. So if you know somebody, you can say thank you to your veterans. On the coloring sheet, there's a little coloring sheet and maybe you can give it to somebody. Ask your parents if we know somebody that they can give it to that's a veteran. We need to say thank you. That's right, and it leads up to the next holiday, which is Thanksgiving. God asks us to have a grateful heart, a thankful heart. And we're going to start by saying thank you to our veterans who have helped serve our country. So friends, I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you remember to thank a veteran. And we're going to, yeah, got to find out what and when. God's promise came and we'll have to see what ends up happening with Travis's empty basket because I know he really wanted something in there and it was empty today. He's waiting, waiting for the good gift, just like the people of Israel were. They were waiting for the good gift for so long. Yeah, they got to see the birth of Jesus, but it was a long time. By the time it was prophesied, before it came, they had to wait a long time. No, we don't have to wait that long for Christmas. Christmas is not that far away. So, friends, I hope you have an amazing week. And I hope you start to think about being thankful for the things that we have. And start thinking about the birth of Jesus. And how he was a good gift that God gave us. Because that celebration is coming up. So, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. Oh, okay. He wants me to tell you guys he loves you too. <laughs> All right. Have an amazing week. Bye.